Hey everybody, it's Rich Wharton again, uh, amateur DCS simmer, and we're going to perform another F-16 to KC-135 air-to-air refueling. Um, as we get better at this, we're going to make changes to the videos to highlight some of the uh, processes and things like that, and someone uh, made mention that these are some things that I needed to do. So let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to uh, hit the pause key several times to sort of highlight some things. Now, first things first. We need to point out, take a look, we've got the gear down. That's my mistake. I landed the airplane, I did not switch the switch on my Thrustmaster, so I'm flying at 16,000 feet with the gear down. Let's fix that. Get the gear up, and instantly my airspeed starts to go back up again. Good thing I didn't damage the gear. All right, so now we're accelerating a little bit. And there's the KC-135. We're going to zoom in. Take a look. This is the pitch altitude hold. So that is the altimeter autopilot right there. So I've turned that on momentarily so that I can sort of, you know, get myself organized and make my radio calls and check some of my other procedures. Okay on. We're zooming back out again. Airspeed is at about 400. I make the radio call. Texaco, 1-1. One, one. In field, 1-1. One, one. Request rejoin. In field, 1-1. One, one. Texaco, 1-1. One, one. Proceed to pre-contact at 16,000 at 350. Okay, so it sent the call out. It wants me at 16,000-ish. Now I'll take a look right over here. Bingo. There we go. Bingo. We're going to zoom in. And this is my air-to-air -air refueling door. It's in the closed position. I've bound it to a uh, spot on my HOTAS Thrustmaster. And take a look carefully. We're going to open the air-to-air -air refueling door. There it is. Okay. All right, so hopping back in and looking forward. Looks like the KC-135 has dropped its drone. It's, it's uh, boom. Okay, stop right there. Did you see that? I hit the list button. And now I'm going to hit the two button. And if you look right over here, there's my fuel status right there. Okay, so now I'll be able to watch the fuel as it comes in to the... F-16. Let's accelerate a little bit, close the distance. Now if you look up on the upper left, upper right hand corner for Texaco 1-1, there's an option for F-1, and I need to hit that. Notice I'm going to turn the autopilot off right now, so that I have a little more pitch control. Okay. Again, I'm an amateur. I'm not that good at this, but I've done 75 or 76 of these on this machine, and I'm trying to share with you the uh, acceleration, deceleration, pitch up, pitch down, uh, micromanagement issues that I have to deal with in order to get good enough to fill up the tanks. There's about four or five disconnects on this one, so apologies ahead of time. Here we go. We're closing. We have not yet asked for permission. Ready, recontact. I sent the radio request. Clear to contact. It's raising the boom a little bit. Now let's get underneath it. Ignore that. Now, take a look right there. Do you see right there? This is the up, down, elevation recommendations on the KC-135. This is the forward and aft recommendations on the KC-135. If it's green on green, I'm kind of in the sweet spot. But if I move around too much, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it harder for them to attach the boom. Take a look at the timer here. The timer is counting down before the mission ends, and you'll see it takes me a while to get my first contact, and then I almost immediately lose the uh, lose the boom. Here we go. 
I'm too far ahead. Now I'm too far behind. Now I'm too low. Too far. Oh, I'm getting there. See, I'm still moving, and the boom operator can't compensate. I'm making all sorts of micro adjustments. Maybe you're putting a camera on the joystick, and you'll uh, sometime, and you'll see it's it's kind of crazy. You'll see I do I do some yo-yoing and high swings. Now I'm too low, and I'm behind. So now I'm slowly climbing, trying to keep the airplane level, and slowly accelerate. And again, it's interesting. When I accelerate, sometimes the nose goes up, and so I have to kind of, you know, be careful of that. Okay, there's my sweet spot. I'm not going to go to the external view for this. You can see the approaching coastline. That's usually my uh, note for the end of the mission. I'm already down to five minutes. Well below 1,700 pounds. But I just have to keep making micro adjustments. Contact. Got it. There's 1950, there's 2000, 2100. Okay, I'm getting falling behind. Accelerate just a little bit. 2500, 600. I'm still in the sweet spot, but I'm dropping. Notice I'm slowly accelerating down and forward, and there I go. So now I make a correction, and immediately I fall into a yo yo. Still taking fuel at this point, but I pop off right about here, 3,500 pounds. I'm only half fuel. So here we go. Now I got to reset. When I do this, I always kind of rotate the shoulders, move my neck around in the track IR, and slowly try to accelerate my way back in. Okay, I'm contacted. You're taking fuel. Taking fuel. Trying to stay green on green. Losing it, losing it, losing it. 4,200 pounds. 4,300 pounds. 4,400 pounds. And I put too much throttle in. And now look, I'm almost about to hit the plane. So I got to back off. Oh, brother, let's do this again. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking. We're down to three minutes. Reset. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Again, ignore the boom. I think the operator would get it out of the way. Now line it up. Getting to green on green. Contact. We're connecting. 4,800 pounds. You're taking fuel. 4,900 pounds. And I'm trying, and I lost it. But it was just in the vertical, it just in the horizontal plane. So let's try it again. Reconnect. Contact. We're connected. You're taking fuel. I just have to keep thinking ahead of the of the bird. Green on green, 57, accelerating, got a little bit too close, but I'm still taking fuel, it popped off, 6,000 pounds, reconnect, You're taking fuel. accelerate, 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 so I can don't have to, so I don't lose the plane, 6,400 pounds, I'm so close, I'm so close, 7,150 is the magic number, and I lost it, 6,700 pounds, I got another 450 pounds to go. Contact. 
Okay. You're taking fuel. We're taking fuel. Now watch the lights. Transfer complete. They are off. The transfer is complete. Disconnect. It's asking me to disconnect. And I reach down. And I zoom in. And I turn off, I close the door, which actually reseals the pumps so that I can then navigate and maneuver. And I bid the tanker goodbye. Okay. There were one, two, three, four, five disconnects. So, again, the point of this whole exercise is, and I'm going to show you dozens of these, dozens and dozens of these, is to teach you how to not make the same mistakes that I'm making, how to stay ahead of the bird, how to stay inside the sweet spot, how to make the micro adjustments that are necessary, how to hit the, 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 the proper protocols inside the, the cabin um, and then and inside the cockpit and then get uh, the fastest, most consistent refueling you could possibly get. I will probably do 300 of these before it's all over. Anyway, that's really it. Thanks for watching.